And good evening, everybody. Welcome to the first race of the National Guard IndyCar Series. This is going to be a very short season since these are IndyCars. It's only going to be eight races, but the big reason that it's uh, going to be so short is because most of these tracks that we're going to be racing at are going to be road courses, and road courses can take a little bit of time. So, for all of you that were not able to sign up for this season, please keep watch of what's going on here because it's not going to be a long season, so maybe you'll be able to sign up for Season 2. I just recently got the IndyCar series uh, for NR 2003, and so I decided I'd make a series for that. Alright, so this is the way that they're going to line up for today's race. I'll give you the first two rows, and then we will uh, let these cars run around the racetrack for one pace lap, and then we'll put them under green after we show you the starting lineup. On the pole is going to be Luke Walker, and to his high side is going to be, uh, I believe that's the 90 of Robert Brooks. And then we've got the 22 behind there. That is uh, Jack Nathan driving that black IndyCar race car right there. And he will start alongside of Steven Gonzalez on the outside of row 2. There are 27 drivers in this series. As I mentioned, it's going to be a total of 8 races. So these drivers are going to have to make their moves soon. And these races will be coming out uh, pretty often because I'm not... Uh, mathematically doing the point system myself, I'm letting NR2003 do that. So, tonight we are at Daytona. going to be very interesting. I doubt very much that the uh, draft is going to come into play in any way, shape, or form here tonight because these are the Indy cars, not exactly based on aerodynamics for having two cars, one behind the other. They're more designed for single car drafting. Anyway, we are under the lights, but before I get into that stuff, we're going to get the command to fire the engines. Ten laps of racing await us here at Daytona. We'll see how the Indy cars play out. But now, as these cars are going to roll off for their pace laps, we are going to show you the starting lineup for the first race of the National Guard Indy Car Series here tonight. <laughs> So that's the 27 car field for tonight's race. Kind of odd to see the normal uh, Grand Prix pace car pacing this field, but nonetheless, there it is. Um, tonight, actually, is uh, going to be very, very interesting to see how these race cars handle here at Daytona International Speedway. And also, this series is going to be a kind of a test. Uh, if you guys noticed the test that I put out beforehand, before uh, signups were open and everything, I have uh, been working with Windows Movie Maker to try and make the editing system, the uh, race, look a little bit more realistic. And so you'll be seeing those features throughout the course of the night. So Luke Walker on the pole alongside of Robert Brooks. I've not yet seen Brooks Racing style in the NSRA. Nice to have him on board here in this uh, NSRA series. I've seen him over driving in uh, the Craftsman Car Series on NASCAR Stunt Motion Guys channel. He was a rookie in Season 2, but he's here in the NSRA for 10 laps of racing. Luke Walker gets us underway. We are green at Daytona. See some drivers moving down to that low side. I doubt very much you're going to see any drafting whatsoever here at this racetrack due to the fact that it's Indy cars. I, I would be very surprised if that were the case. However, I am kind of seeing them one up behind the other. That, th this, is, this is a completely uh, unusual thing for me. Uh, Daytona was put as the first race of the schedule, so, you know, anything can happen here, I guess, in the NSRA, but... Luke Walker right now remains on the inside line, and boy, they get aw they're getting awfully tight off that corner. But <laughs> it's almost like watching a restrictor plate race, but you're doing it with Indy cars. It it's a completely bizarre and new experience for me. I'll tell you that much. Well, Luke Walker is pacing the field. He's kind of running the middle groove on the back straight and front straightaway, and then he's uh, Moving down to the low line, that's uh, Joshua Osborne right there in the number 10, directly behind. He uh, was running in second, but that's going to end right now as he's going to get a challenge down low. That is uh, Samet Ozcon and uh, Matthew Rodriguez, but everything's still going on behind 
the Luke Walker machine who's trying to stay out in front. New second place car coming into view there. That is James Qualls in the number five. It's very difficult to tell these cars without going to them and seeing the name because of the color. But here comes James Qualls. And Qualls is the new leader here at Daytona. That's the first time Luke Walker has not been in the lead. And now they appear to be battling for the lead even more here. As that is, whoa, going to go three wide. Joshua Perry was going for the uh, lead. Oh, there's a wreck there. Two cars got in the wall. Oh, and they're wrecking further up here. Luke Walker is involved. Oh, and they're wrecking there. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's James Qualls there. That's uh, Samet Ozcon. There's what's left of Walker. Oh, that's that's the 13. That's Ryan Acosta coming down pit road. Jake Cole in the 23. He may have been involved. Is the caution out? Yes, it is. Okay. I was wondering if maybe they hadn't thrown the caution. I was wondering why they hadn't. Leader looks like it's going to be Brian LaFlair Jr. There's James Qualls, number five. Looks like he's okay. And Samet Ozcon, he is also okay, it looks like. There's Luke Walker in the seven, who was the pole sitter for this race. And just ahead of him, you've got Aaron Williams, who's off the pace as well. So he may have gotten caught up in something there. And the number 26, let's see why we went under the caution flag for the first time tonight here at Daytona. Now take a look here and see what happened to James Qualls. He was stuck on the high side there. Oh, right there you see one car get way out of shape. I think that was Smet Oscon. Yeah, it was. Man, his car just snapped loose on him there. Kind of held up Aaron Williams right there. That's that's why Williams was off the pace. And, and the same kind of thing happens right there. Ooh. Up and in the wall was Ryan Acosta. He hit the wall pretty hard. And a Peach, or not Peach London, I'm sorry. Luke Walker just kind of held up behind the James Qualls machine. You're going to see right here, Smet Oscon and... Ryan Acosta makes some contact as Acosta gets into the back of James Qualls, and that's that's what puts us under the caution, but it looks like these cars just started slipping and sliding around a little bit. I don't know for certain, but Smet Ozcon, James Qualls, and uh, Ryan Acosta all seem to go up and into the outside retaining wall with the cars coming out from underneath them. But Brian LaFleur Jr. paces the field. We'll go back to green flag racing now. So we will prepare to go back under green. Only one car retiring as a result of that, and he took probably the hardest hit, and that was Ryan Acosta. And damn, it's just too hard on that uh, number 13 for him to aerodynamically be able to continue this race here at Daytona, which we know is a fundamental to have to have aerodynamics to run here. Anyway, Brian LaFleur Jr. is the leader. Brandon Bain is now up to second. Charles Jackson runs third. Fourth is Matthew Rodriguez. And Justin Perry runs in fifth. Sixth is Jack Richards. Matt Nathan runs in seventh. Eighth is Hunter Gauntz. Then you got Joshua Perry running currently in ninth. Uh, I believe I said that right. No, I think Justin Perry is running in ninth. Uh, Joshua Perry is running further up. My apologies on that. Mike Flanagan runs in tenth. Aaron uh, Alexandra Jones runs in eleventh. Joshua Osborne runs in 12th, Tim Walsh in 13th, 14th is William Duncan, Jacob Rodriguez 15th, 16th is Robert Bands, 17th is Joseph Bryant, Stephen Gonzalez is 18th, Jack Nathan in 19th, and in 20th position is Robert Brooks. Pichu London 21st, 22nd is Jake Cole, 23rd is Aaron Williams, Luke Walker 24th, 25th is Samet Oscon, and in 26th is James Qualls, only one car out of the race as mentioned, that is the 13 of Ryan Acosta, so... That will not fare well for Acosta here. Remember, only eight races, so these drivers, if they're going to win the National Guard IndyCar Series Championship, they have got to remain in contention every single race. One slip up, and you could easily be eliminated from becoming the champion. So we've got a few drivers up at the front here that we have not talked about all day long. Brian LaFlair Jr., the leader, is one of those as we will go back to Grey Flag Racing on lap 8 of 10. That leaves us with three laps to go. 
Now you see there the single fire restart. Drivers able to really space themselves out. Now this this may end up being able to race to the checkers now that they're not completely bunched up on the start of this race, but they are kind of bunching up here. Brian LaFleur Jr., that's Charles Jackson in the 15 directly behind, and it looks like he's going to take the low road as LaFleur takes the high road. And Charles Jackson will be in turn three before him as he's going to go to the lead, it looks like. Jackson in the number 15. He's got company right behind him. That is Justin Perry in the 93, and he is going to come to the inside. And he is going to try and battle for the lead. Two laps to go. Another car coming to the inside there. Who is that? That is Matt Nathan in the 55. Whoa! That was mighty close right there. One car getting shuffled up to that high side there. New leader, Matt Nathan, as he'll bring him down the back straightaway. Let's see if we can keep it green, guys. We're only one and a half laps away from the checkers. They race off of turn four. Everything looks good. If they can get the white flag here before the caution comes out, we will race it back to the checkers. White flag is in the air. It is for Matt Nathan. Let's see who the second place car is going to be that will try and take that from him. That's Alexandra Jones in the 33 now, moving into second. Now into third position. Looks like it's going to be Joshua Osborne. But can they catch Matt Nathan here on the back straightaway? Final lap here, folks. Only one half of a lap to go. Here comes Alexandra Jones to the inside. Alexandra Jones in that Menards, or actually, yeah, it is a Menards-sponsored car. Number 33 goes to the lead. Off turn four for the final time. Will there be a challenge from Joshua Osborne? No, there will not. Alexandra Jones is going to win the first race of the National Guard IndyCar Series as she takes the checkers at Daytona. Well, no sooner do we have our first IndyCar Series race than we have our first female driver go to victory lane. Absolutely incredible there. Let's take a look now at the finishing order for today's race. See where everybody finished. Alexander Jones wins. Joshua Osborne, good run in second. Where did Robert Band come from? Finishing a great job in third. Matt Nathan fourth. Jack Nathan in fifth, so good run for both of them. Joseph Bryant moved his way up into 6th, Tim Walsh 7th, Matthew Rodriguez 8th, ninth was William Duncan, and Mike Flanagan finished in 10th, Josh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Justin Perry finished in 11th, Steven Gonzalez 12th, Joshua Perry 13th, Brian LaFleur Jr., who led on that restart, slipped all the way back to 14th, Brandon Bain in 15th, 16th, Hunter Gauntz, Jacob Rodriguez in 17th, Jack Richards 18th, 19th was Charles Jackson, Pichu London in 20th, Robert Brooks finished 21st, Luke Walker, our pole sitter, slipped all the way back and finished in 22nd, Aaron Williams 23rd, 24th, James Qualls, 25th was uh, Samet Oskun and Jake Cole in 26th. The only car that retired from the race was Ryan Acosta. Now let's step aside and take a look at the point standings heading into next week's race, which will come at Watkins Glen. So here's the way that the point standings will look. Alexander Andrew Jones will have a 10-point advantage coming into next week's race at Watkins Glen over Joshua Osborne. Then you got Robert Band, Matt Nathan, Jack Nathan, Joseph Bryant, Tim Walsh, Matthew Rodriguez, William Duncan, and Mike Flanagan. That is the top 10. You notice that Brian LaFleur Jr. is not in the standings where he finished. He's actually up 11th in the standings. That's because he led a lap. Uh, he led five of them, actually, which I believe was the most of any driver, and that was because he led under caution, so that ended up giving him more bonus points and moved him up there. And then the rest of the top 20 in the points are Justin Perry, Steven Gonzalez, Joshua Perry, and Brandon Bain, top 15, Hunter Gaunt, 16th, Jacob Rodriguez, 17th, Charles Jackson, Jack Richards, Pichu London. That is the top 20. We'll take a look here at the rest of the drivers that are going to really need good runs here at Watkins Glen next week. They would include Luke Walker, Robert Brooks, Aaron Williams, James Qualls, Samet Oscon, Jake Cole, and Ryan Acosta. Pretty much from uh, Luke Walker on down, those drivers had problems at Daytona here today. All right, so hope that you enjoyed today's race. Next race comes from Watkins Glen. Hope you'll tune in for race two. You've been watching the National Guard IndyCar Series here exclusively on the NSRA Sports Channel.